No, guys, are you contract you and then um, it, it goes back. Mariah, can you go now? <laughs> <laughs> and Chaxi, can I have my laptop back? <laughs> Over 26, this is the Fag of Podcast. This is the Brunch Club. Over 26, welcome back to the Fag of Podcast. The mics are cool. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. What up, my name is Chaxi uh, V, Mastermind. You are main guy, the Lord Chaxi. The beautiful Mariah is around. The amazing <laughs> Moss is around. The whole gang is around. Mic check, episode, episode 41. 41. Mariah, how long are you around for? <laughs> Uh, um, legit, here. I have about 28 minutes. 28 minutes. So, yeah. So, do you want to get off your phone? So, so, you, so we can have quality. 28 <laughs> Got minutes. you. <laughs> Got you. Who are you texting? Just curious. No one. <laughs> not, not Julian. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you inviting Julian? I'm doing no <laughs> First of all, I'm I over. I guess our home is. I'm over Julius. <laughs> Julius, Julius, I yes, Julius. I think all of them can okay. just ban. Let's, let's call him Julius for the Juju. purpose of the As it sue or what? As it part of it, she'd say <laughs> uh, come close from that shit. <laughs> or a pillowcase. <laughs> or a towel. <laughs> but surely, pillowcase. <laughs> Boss, that's where your head goes. Not the head, but that's where your head goes. Oh, oh uh, that's where his goodness. other head goes. <laughs> Who has the full story? Me. Uh, okay, tell, tell us. us. <laughs> so he got a BNB. Mm-hmm. So, so Julian I... Albino is a YouTuber. Yes, a US, a US travel vlogger. From South Africa originally. <laughs> is it? Yeah, I yeah, didn't know South that. Uh-huh. He is South African. Okay, now it's yeah. making a lot of sense, seen... but okay. <laughs> but... <laughs> what do you mean, bro? <laughs> no, I've, I've seen his YouTube and I've met him once in Nairobi at the Alchemist. Oh, is it? Yes. Okay. I'll call him <laughs> no, and he was not smelling of shit. <laughs> Thank God. So, anywho, um, he gets to Nairobi. He's been here for like what, mm-hmm. about a month, a month and some change. And he's been here longer. No, he he traveled then. Came according out. to this BNB that he rented, he okay. had had it for like a month and some change. Okay, got you. So, mm-hmm. um, let's say he's supposed to check out on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Home, he checks out ma- Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> okay, earlier. Um, like, okay, cool. six hundred dollars. No, wait. For your BNB, as yes. Balance, yeah. As your balance, $600. Ah, those, those are damages from... No, 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 no. Broke. He no, didn't no, no. pay. Oh, damn. $600. Mm. Then he stained 16 bed sheets, mm. four towels, no, two pillowcases. I feel like stained feels like maybe, you know, maybe maybe he, he left the club with dirty shoes. No, yeah. with his... He pooed. He pooed <laughs> so, yeah, and other excretions that soiled. we don't need to <laughs> know <extension>. about. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, because like there was like blood on some sheets. Could you like come? Yeah. What the heck was going Behind, on? Man, I know what was going on. That's what I'm asking. Pillowcase. Sir, pillowcase. He broke a whole window pane as well. Broke a whole window Maybe pane. That's where the blood came from. And right? the part is the window pane, those that don't even open. So, what aggression was that that like you uh, broke such a that's window? That's probably pain? why. Maybe he needed just some fresh air. But... Then you Don't break plates. Maybe he just needed fresh air, you know? <laughs> no, you break plates. <laughs> And hide them, Chinia Kitty. Sir, are you not a wild animal? Yeah. So the first time he was Can in Nairobi, it, yeah. I'm just sorry, I'm just I'm just uh, checking. Mm-hmm. The first time he was in Nairobi mm-hmm. was uh, six months ago, as okay. per his YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, so okay, like legit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why would you? Pull? <laughs> then you're so rude, Ukiambiwa. Pay for your That's remainder the part that me. and yeah. pay for the damages. There's a cleaner to clean it, sir. Who's gonna clean yeah. Sir. So the screenshot, one of the screenshots. Um, okay, I don't have the previous conversation. They're full of shit. Who's going to clean a grown-up poop? The mattresses. The mattress has poop as well. He Both. says. The housekeepers will. I'm not responsible for any cleaning responsibilities. <laughs> That's why you have cleaners. Uh, total for the tabletop. If you are okay, if you are them, can you clean someone's poop? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the dining table is 55k. Mm-hmm. I'm not. A, I'm not a house cleaner. <laughs> why are you pooping? Why are you pooping on bed sheets <laughs> and towels? <laughs> and then the screenshot ends. I wish I could see whatever I said next. Tell you. No, but towels. So can you do It's one thing. I'm chaff. Like in South Africa, we have chaff on top. You understand? <laughs> yeah, you're just a nasty <laughs> yeah. individual. You get. Yeah. Then yeah. Can, can, can. when he's being trolled, he says, "At this is not my first online call out." Sorry, not sorry. Probably sure not. If, if you poop on shit, you need to be called out every time you do it. <laughs> nah. Like that's negotiable. Can I tell you guys something interesting? Mm-hmm. This has happened to me as well. No you way. Could. No. 
<laughs> I was like, you told her shit. When I, when I owned a BNB before it, it went. Oh, yeah, South. South. Yeah. yeah. So there's some guy, but he was gracious enough to leave cleaning money. Okay. So some to guy what? cleaning money. Okay. So this guy, it was fishy from the get go. He didn't want to book via the app. He didn't want to leave his ID. He didn't want, like, you know, all, all those two precautions yeah, but, you take. Yeah. 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 Which now you wouldn't do because yeah, you so, need that yeah. list to be able to track with this yeah. person. Yeah. And I told him if, if when you book via the app, it's very straightforward and there's contracts to ensure that mm-hmm. nothing mm-hmm. happens. Yeah. Um, but when you book offline, I usually used to request my clients to either have like a copy of your passport or your ID, just mm-hmm. something that identifies then he didn't want to be with it. And then he was paying like a premium price. Mm. Ah, so me because <laughs> alchemist. Yeah. I can't to me a door, come to me a keys. Guy goes in and then he leaves the next day at 7 a.m. But he calls me before he leaves. Mm. So he says, I've left the house in a bit of a mess. Mm. And I'm like, um, okay, how bad are we talking? How are beats? Yeah, so he didn't tell me how bad, but he said it's quite messy. I was like, is there anything broken? I said, no, it's just things that need cleaning. Mm. I was like, fine. Then he says he's left some money on the, on the table. I think he left like two or three Gs. Only? Yeah. For pool? Yeah. Taxi, <laughs> calm down. So now... What color was the pool? Uh, I didn't see it. I didn't go. You're so dragging, I, I call my bro. Lady as per usual. I'm like, hey, what's up? Uh, the client has left. So you go uh, check out the house clean. Also, he said it's not in the best condition, but call me when you get there. Yeah. So my cleaning lady is a very reserved lady. When she gets to the house, oh, she just calls God. me. She's like, Kuna mami kila mali. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I remember, because I, I don't remember where I was traveling to, yeah. but now I was like, then she didn't have like, what's up? <laughs> I was trying to get and her to say, <laughs> <some day. laughs> yeah. and this is a babe who never talks. No, mami is a kafisha. To my pesa. Oh, my mesha. Ivo too. Yeah, where, where, where she was shouting, she look like, and you know, she Kitanda, carpet. I'm like, carpet. <laughs> carpet. Carpet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but carpet makes sense. Pillowcase, though, um, says him some hair. Okay, legit. Um, <laughs> for real. I know a study. <laughs> what study of people peeing in 16 bed sheets? <laughs> Wait. Hold up. Hey, boo. Hold up. Man, like, it would be, it would be, I wouldn't want to be in your position. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would never want to host Julian. Yeah. <laughs> but isn't there a condition mm-hmm. for guys who just pull all over the place? Yeah, you need a isn't diaper. This a condition? Like a condition, condition. <laughs> like medical. <laughs> medical condition. A condition you need a diaper. Medical no, condition. apparently, no, sis, because now you've been getting it so much mm. in your bum, now like your bum is like widespread. But there was a video I was watching. No, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> nah, there's a video I was watching. Like and it this guy, does. It does. yeah. Does. Wait, so was the guy the tensile strength? Because you break, you ah, literally so was stretch. The guy, was the guy gay? I have no he's idea. gay. No, the, you have yeah, no idea. My client, I have no idea. No, Julian is. Julian is. Yeah, I'm talking about Julian. Julian okay. Yeah, okay, it's like rainbows everywhere on his page. Yeah, I me, mean, the guy, I didn't know, but I don't. But want then to maybe, maybe, maybe he's not gay. Yeah. Essentially, you know, it's okay. Or maybe it's, it's a kink. Mm. Yeah. I have no idea. It's just interesting. But if okay, let's say he's not straight. Mm. <coughs> or he's into he's into he's men, bisexual. Right? Let's yeah. just give him Maybe that. Guy, I don't know. Yeah. Mm. So my guy, may I ask my cleaning lady how much do you want to clean the house? Because me, I just said, if you give me a figure, then yeah. I'll figure out how this guy will pay for it. Yeah. So I can say my, so normally it was like five socks every time just to clean the house, like mm. to a bed sheets, change, ko, 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 so I can she bed. the pool. Yeah, she, okay. she used the washing machine. What did she do? But Pia, it was, I don't but know how she did how it. did the clothes get to the washing machine? I have no idea. So I just asked her how much she needs. She told me. How much then, did she ask for? I think like 2K. I told her there's some money on the counter that this guy has left. Mm. Is that enough for you? He said, I met Osha. A thousand is for damages because, bro, I'd throw. Yeah. It would be a double and then that catastrophe guy because to I'd book throw. My house again. Excuse you, what? I was like, no. Why Why didn't you tell me this before? <laughs> Mas, you didn't even bother to ask, like. <laughs> Let's so, okay, you have, ask. Do you have any of the existing conditions? No, you know. <laughs> okay, may I legit want to know. Is it like a condition? Because it's no, no it's because okay, when you honestly, when you keep having it's anal sex in Africa Mahali, because your nerves, like you stress them out back at they literally become dead. You see, like when you're constipated and you try to poo, the way your bum literally Wait, so in a kata. Just couldn't get to the loo. I, just, no, no, I don't think so. Like you know, now, that's, a, that's a tiny mess. Because if there's poop everywhere on yeah, 16 bed sheets, yeah, what, what is it's not a medical king? condition. Yeah, I'm saying. Like, Senior, yeah. your bum has been stretched does, out. Does your, I'm literally <laughs> Googling that. Does no, your, I know the remedy. Please get though. into incognito mode on my phone. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Can we move on from no, this No, I know story? the remedy though. So mm-hmm. I was watching a video on YouTube of this Masai guy who had been, he's been in prison for so long. So he came back and he's giving like his story and whatever. So he says, 
Apparently, okay, not apparently, of course, we all know, Ushoga is like some real thing in prison, right? Mm. So he says, at the at sometimes when they're having sex, like the rectum, Utoka. Falls out, And yeah. he says there's a remedy for it. You'll never imagine what it is. What is it? Kiberiti. What, what about the match? You just wash it, and literally the rectum just, pff, it goes back in. Please don't wait, wait, Google hold that. Up. Please don't Google. <laughs> <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. No, I'm curious. Hold up, hold up. So, you light, you light a match box. You know, Legit. you light a match stick. And yeah. Then put it where? Up or two, like, there's, apparently there's, a, um, what can I call it? Like, mucus in your token at the rectum. So, apparently, at, when you light it, so, of course, oxygen, nini, nini, support, so, iki, whatever, inner. Okay, so Contract you and then it, it goes back. Mariah, can you go now? <laughs> 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 and Chaxi, can I have my laptop back? <laughs> you guys. Yeah, for, listen, before Ma, I actually, I suggest, I'll, I'll I suggest, send suggest, you this link. I, I feel like you. I'm you sending you this aside, link. It could help you get through this episode. Uh -huh. Facts. You know you, I'm saying. If, uh? if you put your phone aside, it okay. could help you get through this episode. I'm sending no, you this no, link. Okay. Yeah, no, for real. I'm, I'm literally going to call some of my mm -hmm. close friends who. Who get it from behind all the time? Can ask I'm serious. Because yeah. I'm, because I'm like, oh, I just wanna know. <laughs> For information, please For call your friends, but don't Google. <laughs> uh but yeah. I, I already did. Sorry. So <laughs> it's the on my history now. postulate that anal sex may simply dilate and stretch. Uh, the anal. Can we move on? Something muscle and eventually cause damage <laughs> to the muscle themselves and sensory nerve Found damage, it. leading to loss of uh, sensation and control. Oh. Um. Okay, I've sent it to the group. You guys should watch this video. It's very oh interesting. God. Okay, <laughs> bro. I like legit. I thought I when I came when I when I when I when I came into the recording when mm -hmm. I sat here, mm -hmm. me I just I thought this is a story I was gonna laugh about because in my head. <laughs> but then I was like, maybe if, if it's a condition, mm -hmm. then I don't know. I've never heard of a condition like that. Mm -hmm. But I just thought it's stupid and weird and funny mm -hmm. that someone. A grown up who just yeah. blew everyone. I'm, I'm like, why are you pulling everyone? Next time, Mukimo, I'll call Mr. Mulize. Big Slap him twice. Like, and ask him. At Juani, even. Me, I don't know. More reason why you should just spank him in the head. Like, what's that? Are you no, the guy? Man. I love your content online, especially the 16 bed sheets. But <laughs> you stop spilling people's sheets, idiot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Is it? Um, I'm pegging so, shots. Okay, I'll tell him pegging shots. Gay. Yeah, but what happens if this? Honestly, if this happened to me, I'm getting arrested. Deaf. Me too. Yeah. Me, I'm I getting you jumped. I'm getting arrested because um, me. I'm gonna, no, <laughs> more no, likely. Me, I'm getting you. No, jumped. I'll jump you myself. That's because for sure. Because I'll beat you up. That's me that's too. Because I'll beat me, you me, myself. Honestly, I just need you to clean that house first. Mm -hmm. Buy me new bedding. Then now my clean lady can come clean. Like, bro, I don't know how many times I'll need to hey, clean you my need to bro. Bro, like, legit, like if you literally came and took a sheet in the middle of my living room, mm. we are done. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> it must is like, please don't come downstairs. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, there's a bit of a mess. Give me an hour. I'm Guys. fighting someone. <laughs> yeah, this this thing. I have trauma. I, I, please help me. This thing is going to knock off my balls, bro. Hey. It keeps going down. And it's right at the center. Like, I'm not even messing. Hey. Anyway, so <laughs> speaking of balls, let's get speaking of balls. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Sammy boy, how do you guys know Sammy boy? Eh? No, no, not 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 yeah. in person, not in person. Like, how do you know oh, him? Me? Like, or what do you know him for? Because I know we, we we know him from online. <laughs> I know him for his boozy, boozy. Yeah. Uh, what is boozy? Oh my god. So uh, no, no, no. I just want to know what if is boozy. If you if you're a dude and you always, of course, you dudes only have one hole. That's the bad hole. And that's not true. Because come on, a That's not true. That's we the boozy. We have multiple holes. Even our dicks have kahol. Look, why is it? Sour, but the problem. So how is it? In a zengi wa. In a zengi wa. Hmm. Kijiti, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell? That's disturbing. Can we put a disclaimer? How many minutes have we rolled? Anyway. Can you put a disclaimer that if you're watching this start from, from 16, Must. from 16 minutes, no, there's nothing course. for you in the first 15 minutes. Yeah, it's I... just Mariah and her knowledge of butts. I don't know how. Yeah, but how do you know? You know, from, from traditional Maasai <laughs> medicines to tensile strength. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, can we do? You know the way I used to have a dick, dick talk segment. Yeah. Uh -huh. We need a bad talk. No. no, we can't. Okay, so no, okay, so, so, so you know, know Sami boy from his. Cause... Yeah, I know him because of his ass. From his ass. Yeah. Like, you know, you his ass. Like, no, because his ass is everywhere online. So <laughs> no, but you knew him before the scandal. No. 
Wallahi tena. I just I just I just do his askama. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my so, gang. Yeah, so Sami yeah, boy is um, if you don't come from Nairobi, no, yeah. so from, from Kenya or if you've never heard of Sami boy, just check him online. Sami boy, that's his handle. Yeah. Yeah. Sami boy something anyway. So, uh very flamboyant, flashy, um mm. says he's a trader for forex. <laughs> forex traders. Someone give me a phone. I need to call someone. You yeah. know someone who's a forex trader, right? I know someone who trades crypto. Crypto. Yeah. Okay. I know someone crypto, too. Yeah. So they buy, hold, sell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they just chase a chase. All of with crypto. Yeah. yeah. I need to understand. Uh, let me call someone. Let me call Malcolm. Mm. Um, do that. Is that Ethan? Hmm? Hmm? Okay, so the reason why is because Sami Boy has been accused of, um, he's been accused severally of being a scammer mm-hmm. and he's always said he's not a scammer. Says his money. Bro, you see me to me. That guy is so rude. No, no, I'm, no, I was legit. I was, you, yeah, I was struggling to get a phone. Anyway, so, mm-hmm. um, so he's been accused of. Moas, I feel like you should get off yeah, the phone. My boss is. I know. That's yeah, why I'm like stressing. The only way you're gonna get over. Oh, you need, you need, you need to respond. No, 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 no. Okay. But I needed to read so that I just know mm. exactly what's, what's needed. Oh, oh continue, I'm just yeah, getting I'm the just, number. I'll throw this away. So I wanna call Malcolm. Mm. Malcolm, shout out to Malcolm, man. Malcolm is my homie. He's Tukutane. They're the guys who are doing the Thames gig. Woo <laughs> woo! Yeah. That never happened. Anyway, we'll call Malcolm. So the reason I wanna call Malcolm is Malcolm. Mm. I think is a trader. As far as yeah. Instagram. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> so Sammy boy. <laughs> so Sammy boy claims to be a trader. Uh-huh. He has a salon, a bunch of businesses. Mm-hmm. Um, his source of his money, we don't know. Mm-hmm. But clearly, eh, hey bro, mm-hmm. uh, the lifestyle he lives is clearly um, a lifestyle of someone it's who has quite Bitcoin. a lot of money, mm-hmm. quite a lot of money, right? Yeah. So what happened is his these videos that leaked on the, online. Mm-hmm. Someone posted videos yeah. of him, and I specifically saw clips of one one of, in one of the videos. <laughs> him and his friend they're in the same 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 room, right? Okay, mm-hmm. strip naked. Then they start dancing first. So they're entertaining guys on camera somewhere. I don't know. There's guys on a, on the other end. Okay. Yeah. So they get naked and then they start dancing. Ah, <laughs> uh, then the same well, video. Uh, you said the video was an hour long. Yeah, of course. You I, watched all of it. I watched clips. Seeing okay. the clips I saw. Okay. Then, no, no, no. I haven't started calling. Mm-hmm. Then the other video I saw mm-hmm. was him and the same same homie. It mm-hmm. looks like the same same day because the they setting of the house is very similar. Less. Uh, they were giving each other hand jobs. So he was giving the homie a hand job and the mm-hmm. homie was giving him a hand job. <laughs> okay. At the same time. At the same time. So you all want to find an exchange program. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Then uh-huh. uh the other one I saw was just him fingering a babe. That's it. That's what I saw. They think that's the one I saw. Okay. Yeah. So um, so guys, that but then I, there was, there's a the picture you've seen. There's his ass is all over Twitter. Oh. Um Whatever. Ni kama lilipa influencers jini leo na hashtag iki trend. And there's guys who are clean jina. I guess my Sami boy is a clean G. Something. There's just guys. Like, he employed many he employed youth. He's done work. Kusafisha to rada. Kusafisha rada to him. Just damage, a bit of damage control. Which doesn't help really. Yeah. Mm. Sibwan Simtu. One. It's called Malcolm. I just want to know about this trading thing, bro. Like not even in the... I'm like, can I buy... How much is the Benz Sami boy has? Your Benz name? It's, it's a, I don't know. He has it's the yellow one, the blue one. He has like a couple of Malcolm. Yo. Chaxi, what up, bro? What's up, bro? How are you? Easy, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Let me, let me just put you on the cast speaker, not on my ear. No worries. And also, you are live on the podcast, bro. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> you are live on the podcast. Mariah and Masa here. We have, we have some questions for you. Do you have a few minutes? I'm live on the podcast. Yeah, yes. you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm down. I'm down to answer. Perfect. Sasa, you yeah. um you're a trader, right? Yeah, yeah. Forex, what kind of trading? Forex, forex. Forex. So yeah. so we are curious. There's um we are discussing the the Sami Boy incident. Do you know yeah. you, you know the dude? Yeah, yeah, I know him. I know him very well. Eh? <laughs> very well. <laughs> <laughs> but I, like, oh, I hope I hope I, you're not I, in those enough, videos, bro. Funny enough, I was even with him um yesterday. Oh. oh damn! Excuse you, yeah, sir. I was with them yesterday at a car show. Oh yeah, there was the car show I saw on your Instagram. Yeah. Oh. So, bro, quick, quickly, like, yeah. how does trading work? Because we've seen he's 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 always getting accused of being a scammer. Because guys are like, so, there's there's no way you can make all this money from trading. From trading. Yeah. So it's possible. 
it's extremely possible. But then, um, so the only difference that like between us, mm. or what I'd say is, you see, he sells he sells um bots. Mm-hmm. He sells bots. So bots are basically like things that trade for you. If you're too lazy to trade, mm. they they're the ones that it does all the trading for you. So what someone has done, someone has coded like this thing, this machine to like to trade for you. So it knows all the the um, indices, all the all the currencies and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it knows when to trade for you. It's just you to place in your order, and it knows when to to enter the trade and come out. Mm. So the only bad thing about bots is um, you never know how good a bot has been coded. Mm. So if 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 let's say you buy a bot for for fifty k, yeah. Okay. Obviously, you're you buying a bot. You're thinking it's an investment because. To you, it's I'm buying a bot for 50k, mm. and um, I'm expecting to make my 50k back in like one week or or like um, two weeks, let's say. Okay. So you start trading, let's say, with your own cash, and now you're taking L after L after L, and I mean, you can easily say, oh, um, he scammed me or something like that. Like what he sold me is fake. I mean, I don't touch bots. Okay. Do you trade yourself? You put in the work. Yeah, yeah, myself, and and I don't trade for guys because you know, touching other people's money is another. Yeah, it's another story. situation yeah. in itself. Yeah, it's another story. So I mean, he he does bots. He he sells bots, and he sells different bots. It's mm. just that I don't know how those guys coded those bots. I yeah. don't know if they they're the ones who coded them themselves or they mm. bought it from someone else. Mm. But um, that's why you'll find like many guys saying scamming, scamming, like he's scammed us. Cause yeah. I mean, dude, it's hard. It's hard to know. It's hard to find a bot that's like a hundred percent. There's you. no bot okay. that's a hundred percent. Yeah. So between like for you, um, do you make more money? Do you make losses? Like how does it work for you? Which, which... I, I mean, you can you can make a thousand dollars in in one day. Okay. Damn. And also lose a thousand dollars in one day. Damn. Damn. You know? Damn. Yeah, what is the most you've right. lost, bro? Uh, <laughs> like in a, in a week. Uh-huh. Like 7k. USD. USD. It's like yeah, almost a mic. Hey! Oh my gosh. And and yeah, what is what? the and what is the most you've made in a week? Yo, a carry could be watching. Eh? <laughs> no, they're not. I promise. <laughs> Yeah, they could be watching, eh? and I've seen they want to tax traders now. Yeah. Oh damn! That they bro, they want to tax everyone. Yeah. Man, the, way, the way you're normally posting those ex- nice cars of yours, they're coming for you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, I've made I've made a lot from it, but ideally, it's mm. it's not something that's easy. Like you lose the days, dude. You lose a lot of money, but also you can make a lot of money. So it's yeah. Just, it's just how it's how you trade. In all honesty. I feel you, man. I feel okay. you. Yeah. So, so drinks on you when I see you. <laughs> Next. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I got you. I got you. So, bro, bless you, man. I appreciate it. Right, thanks, Malcolm. Cheers, man. All right, have a good one. Bye. Bye. Damn. If I lost 7K US, do you get coming? Hey, I'm pulling on bed. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? Hey, make that 32 bed sheets. I'm pulling everywhere. Yeah. But also, what? if you're making, if you're making. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, yeah. my gosh. Anyway, so, <laughs> so, some, so some boy uh, went on Instagram mm-hmm. and, you know, he said this was his past. Mm-hmm. And this was the lowest point of his life. He had to find a way to make money. Yeah. Or to survive. But then, of course, Twitter, guys on Twitter were like, this is, this, this, this is how this dude makes money. Yeah. yeah. This is, was, did it look like a recent thing, Amma? The videos. Yeah. I, think, I haven't seen them. I yet. think, how many years ago? Because some of the charts looked very recent. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you're going to get your COVID. I mean, it was That's how you can know. That's how you can know. Dude, this lockdown. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Last year. Because yeah. I think as for what Edgar had posted, uh-huh. is this is how he also makes money. Mm-hmm. I mean, so this is like has, a side he has, his, he has his legit businesses. Yeah. You know what I mean, for sure. And like like Malcolm said, he sells bots and whatever. Mm. Basically, if you want to trade and you're lazy to do it yourself, but you I've can seen, buy bots. I've seen Edgar Barre has been. I mean, Nini Leo, he was on his case. Oh, on some. With, yeah, with guys um, sharing screenshots of how he says, "Send me money, I trade for you," and then now the money goes in my. Yeah, so that that's a that's a because yeah, you see Malcolm me. says he me never trades for yeah. he trades yeah. for himself because you know yeah. he doesn't want to deal money. Because no. no. again. Yeah. If you can make you can make money, but you, you can also lose money. Yeah. So you don't wanna have someone's money and then you lose it. Oof. 
Imagine your 7k USD ng kwa mtu. Yeah. Bro, right? Wonjo kan yako you 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 eat your humble pie and keep it moving. But okay, legit. There's definitely some bit of scamming with this amount of stories. Well, there's too many stories. There's no way all these guys are lying. And most of them are posting stories. You know, screen shows. A lot of people are usually embarrassed of being conned, so they don't like to come forward because you you feel like you what what could arrow. Like if me if I get conned I'm going to the cops. I'm I'm coming out and saying I'm just taking that L. Like nah, that day, it depends. <laughs> like that day, I bought fake AirPods. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> and that guy is still advertising. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, he's he's still just keep conning people. Yeah. There's, I'd, I'd say, just be careful, bro. Like, mm. there's no way. Um, man, we speak yeah. about this all the time. They have the same captions. Like, let me find a Sami Boy caption. The latest <laughs> one on is a random <laughs> one. Let's God did. Something. Yeah, it's gonna be. You know, it's gonna be uh, uh, Sami Cool Kid. The grind. We all have 24 hours. What is some BS? Hold up. Ah, yeah. Uh, oh, he was at the car show. I, was, oh, I went straight to his stories. Mm. Anyway, let's see. Uh, the last picture posted. To the moon, rocket. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Hold oh, up. my God. I found one. Yeah. 22nd September. If you don't make money, you don't make sense. A hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. But that's a lyric. <laughs> I know, but mm? <laughs> now it sounds weird coming from a scammer. Yeah, you get what I mean? A alleged scammer. Alleged scammer. Alleged, alleged scammer. scammer. You know. Yeah. Alleged scammer. Alleged long, by long so many people. Longitude under altitude. Huh? <laughs> 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 what is that? Ah, but what, what is that? Longitude, considering your videos, mm. my friend. You know, like what is that? Mm-mm. How come Mm-mm. all on on Mwangi's, um What is it? That's my Insta. On your yeah, from the from the computer, everything is to the moon. Stay in your captions. lane, bro. Good oh, vibes it's only. It's a glitch. Because there's be. no way all these pictures have the same caption. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah, and it's only on your. That's Just received that's... my new Mercedes GLE. Cool today. Glory be to God. Mm. Okay. Shout out to God, man. God did. Shout out, to God. Shout out to God, man. <laughs> Even Nani was posting. What's what's the name of this guy? The the Nigerian scammer. Hush puppy. Mm. Yes. Yeah, like on a post Yeah. They look like all of them are Drake lyrics. Because his page was deactivated. Oh really? Yeah, by Instagram. Oh hush puppy. Mm. Oh. Check. It's no longer oh, I there. Oh, you meant some boy. No. Oh. Anyway, so um. That's crazy. No, I, I, I'm right-handed, but today I'm left in the streets of Dubai. <laughs> a weed is a weed. <laughs> Aye. Uh, if I ever meet some in person, I'll ask him to give me a caption for my for my. I'll, I'll, I'll post something. Huh? Do you think they get them somewhere? There's a website that has Instagram captions. Yeah, yeah there's a bunch of them. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, man, you know, yeah. shout out to him, man. You do what you need to do. Yeah, make uh, that money, man. Don't you know, just don't hurt anyone. Yeah, make yeah, don't hurt people. Don't, mm. don't steal from people. Just you know, but make as much money as yeah. you can. But anyway, the, 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 clearly, this is not something that that affects Sami Boy and his friends. There's <laughs> a all. nationwide shortage of condoms, bro. There's none of those <laughs> clips where they, any of them was have stopped. legit. Are you serious? It's mm. madness. Uh, so actually, the the thing is, you're talking about on Instagram mm-hmm. is the guy is asking the guy is asking to see the friends ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, can I see your ass? Then it's like pay hundred hundred dollars. dollars. Are then you we'll sending go, it yeah. now? No. Do you have World Dream or Western Union? Yeah, maybe mm-hmm. let's do that tomorrow. Yeah. But the guy, the guy gets horny and they're like, at the, at they, show, they, they show his ass. Like Then a sneeze. Like, oh, that's a nice ass. It's a tight ass. Uh, can I see it again? <laughs> <laughs> then, then he's like, He's like, um, Apana, to my best account, I'm going to watch my name. How is it leaking? Then I'm saying, like, This is now on Instagram, mm-hmm. Atta, Sindio. Yeah. Then the guy is like, uh, I want you to put your dick in on his ass. On. Yeah. yeah. That's on. See, that is because this guy needs to pay. Send the money. This guy is starting the payment. He's like, I just want to see. Then he's like, oh my God, I'm so honey. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe you get to enjoy this ass every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, shout out to me, boy, Okay, man. we've done enough ass. Let's do something oh, yeah. else before yeah. I yeah. Oh yeah, she needs to leave. Yeah. Anyway, so national shortage of condoms, forget that shit. Mm. Yeah, we, we, are, we, are, we are adults, we know what to do. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> What's a joke? You guys know you're only afraid of pregnancy. True. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but I know, legit, me, honestly, Mimi, I'm, I feel like I'm the only one who's here who's not having sex. Same. Yeah. Dude. So, it's been a couple of weeks, man. Yeah. Let's do a checkpoint, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, death and legacy, man. 
Karun posted this online and mm-hmm. I don't know why me when I read it I just didn't think too much about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I I'm looking at the feedback. Um if I die unexpectedly release anything struck everything on mm-hmm. my hard drives all unreleased and even unfinished music. Don't wanna don't don't want it to die with me. PS only only person I need to profit off my stuff when I die is my son. See, it's covered. That makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. But guys here yeah. Uh, please, I delete and repost after the like, six years. I repeat, take off, blah, blah, blah. Just a take off, I'm in Gilead. I know. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> People on the internet have very stupid opinions. Ah, uh, come on. Mm. Yeah, so do you, uh, write, I will deposit with a lawyer. A tweet is not a legal instrument. Who said it was? I know. That's crazy. <sighs> You know, sending, please don't go, do what not. I'm like, she's not said she wants to die. <laughs> this message should not be taken <laughs> lightly. No, yeah, you know, Africans, exactly. Africans and our thought process around death is very weird. I'm telling exactly. you. And it was interesting. I worked on a campaign for some life insurance product and mm. the insights from the ground were crazy. Like, people don't want to imagine taking up life insurance. Why? Because they don't want to think about that. think to talk yeah. for cash or... Or, like, okay, there's a lot of stigma around it. But me, I keep telling people, life insurance is the only insurance that Lazimo to claim at some point. Yeah. The other insurance need, like, uh, uh... It's not BS, it's... No, it's... Oh, you you need need it. accident, or you yeah. Okay, true. Yeah, but life insurance, you're That's for a sure, must. for sure going to... Like, I've something. never... I've genuinely never used my health insurance mm-hmm. so far. Mm-hmm. I've bought Sunny's mm-hmm. when it's almost expiring. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. you still need it. Yeah. Death insu- like life insurance, what they're saying, mm. bro, death Especially is the if you only have constant. Dependence, yeah. yeah. But then that's, the, now that is exactly what we're dis- discussing yeah. today. You know, like, mm-hmm. are you guys afraid of dying? I would be. Yeah. And are you afraid of dying? And what is, like, what does death uh, do, do to you? Like, yeah, what hey. comes to mind when death comes up? I've never thought about it. Yeah. But. Are you scared of dying? Though? Yeah, I'm scared yeah, of dying. Yeah, I'm yeah. knees. But I don't know. I have no thoughts. Cinema only. Yeah. <laughs> Cinema only. I'm have you had of death, any near-death experience? Nope. Not yet so far. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> That's hey, let me take a two on the spot. No, no, no. I'm what like, about you? Yeah. What are your thoughts? Is that your Uber? Yeah. Uber has 180. Just have me just record. I'm just going to go to happy. Nice, cool. It's a public place. Y'all can pull up. <laughs> yeah. But since our, but, but this since is a, a, public a public studio. Yeah. 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 And I've never thought about it in depth. Mm. But of course, I'm afraid of dying. Yeah. Mostly because I don't know what happens next. And there's, I also think like my death would hurt a couple of people I love. So I never think about it a lot. Mm. Mm. That's like everyone though. Yeah. Everyone who I'm dies. I'm like, on that people, one. Mm. Which is what? Like, you know, like even just thinking about it. Yeah. And the fact that you can just die at any minute. Like I can just be doing this game. It's scary, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it works like that. Like that. that. I don't think it works like <laughs> that. Anything that. knows Anything how to feel. Like, so you bite your tongue until you eat it. Eat it as a nyaguke and Most you'll get a simple. Fracture. Imagine this thing okay. has just fallen and it pricks my eye and that's it. That will become blind. Neza daddy. If it From hits what? a wrong nerve. On your eye. Mm. You know the, the the amount of information you have about us. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of information you have about eyes. Is <laughs> is <it's> very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I, I would wish for you to know more about us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Mariah. Ah, I saw us. Mariah is oh, not Mariah. Oh, God. my God. <laughs> hey. What do you think happens when people die? I hear pilot, your spirit just roams and just keeps no, we've, roaming. We've had a lot of things. What do you think happens? I believe that. Like, your spirit just roams, 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 waits for Jesus to come back. Then you go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think it's just blackness, like the end yeah. of a film. Yeah. I think it's just dark. That's it. Come on, Blake. For a very long Blakey time. For long, yeah. Yeah. But I've had Makes stories sense. about guys being in comas and coming back with weird stories. But you see, again, you can be under you know, psychosis. Because, mm. of course, when you're sick and you're in a coma, 
your you body is going it. through it, so your but brain exactly. might also paint scenarios for you mm. to help you calm down. Definitely. I don't know. Definitely. Mm. So I don't know. We'll the zone one would find out. Today, the two. <laughs> Which is today, man. Which is but you know that's crazy. Not something you want to do. Um, a Russian eye mm. to look at Najambia. Most likely, one of us is gonna die before the other one. Not most likely. See, that's a fact. That's a fact. You never know, bro. Okay. You never know. I mean, people die together. Hey, this mm. topic is weird. Can we move on? I know. Because I feel like we're just move inviting on. death Let me together. Say my Checkpoint. <laughs> Check out. <laughs> <laughs> so, that actually summarizes the whole discussion about yes. death. Yeah. I mean, it's, I think the, it's, it's weird mm-hmm. discussing death because no one can guarantee you mm-hmm. of what happens when people die. Yeah. No True. one knows. You know, a lot of the stories we hear, um, I like how religion almost behaves like they're very certain about what happens mm. when people die. But we really don't know. Like, no one can really yeah. tell you what happens when people die, you know? Yeah. I mean, we can we can talk about reincarnation and all these other things. Mm. Most of them are just theories. And they're based yeah. on different belief systems and things that happen to people. Mm. And Wakanza could believe maybe these things happen. But I think how, how our, our human mind works is mm. we are afraid of things we don't know. True. Okay. Yeah. So even deep down, you want to believe the spirit, G, just moonwalks mm. until Jesus comes back. That's what you want to believe, but deep down you're like, you can't. Does it really? Yeah. 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 So I think we're just yeah. we're scared of things we don't really comprehend, yeah. and death is just one of those one mysteries of the that we'll world never that we, know. Yeah, that yeah. we will never know, bro. And there's all these stories of oh, this pastor died, came back bullshit. <laughs> Nobody has ever come back from death. Bro. Yeah. It's the Lazarus. only equalizer. What about Lazarus? Yeah, it's the only equalizer. You think Lazarus was a scam? Of course. No. 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 Cool story to tell. Okay. Yeah. You know. Otherwise, if if God can't <laughs> make people come back alive, so, so. <laughs> someone said that he twice spectacles were invented in the early nineties or late eighteen, whatever's, mm-hmm. late eighteen hundreds. So there was a lot of hallucination by authors. Like like hey, you need to go to Africa. <laughs> you need to go to Africa. <laughs> hey. Ah, uh, shout out, man. Okay. Yeah, but. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, if you know what happens when people die, let mm. us know in the comments. That's crazy. There. And people do know what shrooms are good for steaks and what shrooms <laughs> what are shrooms? good for mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like there's the shrooms you can eat at home and then there's also shrooms you can eat at home. Yeah, magic mm. mushrooms. <laughs> Mojo Tashiba. You'll write a few yeah. things. Are you still doing shrooms? Eventually. Nah, nah. No? I'm Eventually. too scared, man. I'm too scared. When you, when you turn 50. Maybe. Both. We have What's nothing there? to lose. When you turn 50, we go to Tomorrowland. Not Tomorrowland. We go to Burning Man. And do shrooms. <sighs> me, Burning Man, the, 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 nini, the thing that doesn't sit well with me is it's... the sanitation. <laughs> it just looks too white for me. You know? like, so I'm sure there's no then, facilities. Have you seen all the videos? There's always just people walking yeah. naked. It's yeah. Beautiful. And then it's dusty and hot. Yeah. It's in the desert. It's, it's giving an experience, mass. bro. It's just okay. one experience. You we know? go to Peru and do ayahuasca. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's also a good plan. <laughs> Sour. All right, so t- let's talk about Tom Ikonya. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's a timeline on how Tom Ikonya, who's 60, uh, described to the nation uh, how, how he, he lost 700K. So PL put as a 7K USD. <laughs> 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 hey, today people are losing 700,000 a lot. I know. Uh-huh. So Thursday, November 10th. This is in a span of seven days. Uh, so he shows up in a bar at Maragua town. Ah, this is near your home. This yes. is where Erosh comes from. Mm-hmm. After uh, disposing a 700k asset, mm-hmm. takes eight beers, pays 6,220. <laughs> oh, eight beers? Mm. Yeah. For 6,000? Oh, yeah, 3,000. So a bit 800 per beer. In Maragua? Hey. Hmm. I tell me, Marani, 600. <laughs> yeah. Takes eight beers, pays. Okay, maybe took eight okay, beers, paid things, yeah. for uh, someone else's trip. Definitely. Because, because we're, we're getting introduced this yeah. person, right? Mm-hmm. Pays that bill, woman kisses him, takes him <laughs> to a <her> house. Quisha. <laughs> <laughs> takes him to a <her> house. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, so far, we've only <laughs> spent 6320 from 700k, Sounds right? Mm. This is Thursday. We can't Friday, November 11th. I can explain to the woman his plan to open a boiled meat business. <laughs> Ooh, I miss boiled meat. Woman, <laughs> a woman draws him a 250k budget. Oh. His advice with the draw. Oh, my Uber's here. Oh, my oh, Mariah here. has to leave us oh, because of capitalism. Yeah, man. No, what do I see? Do I still sit here? I have to move closer to no, I just move closer room. to me, dog. Yeah. Oi, oi. So I dispose this mic. I just push see it away. Mm. Bye bye. Enjoy. Have a good one. I shall. You'll see the rest of it on YouTube. For sure. Mm-hmm. Take care of the shits and the whatever you're, whatever hey. you're doing. <laughs> so, woman draws him 
Ryan draws him a budget of 250k, but he, he's advised to withdraw 350. Mm-hmm. Day three. Okay, so now we are 260k left. Yeah, but if your budget is 250k, why are you withdrawing another 100k? <laughs> yeah. Why are you withdrawing another 100k? Another 20 would Maybe make Maybe like two miscellaneous in ah, case. You know what okay. I mean? Like if but you, isn't, if that, spend... isn't that in the budget? Because <laughs> <laughs> if, if it's a budget, you, you account have for... miscellaneous yeah, as well. Okay. Yeah, but also... This woman who just kisses him on day one and takes takes him to her mm-hmm. house. Mm-hmm. So he's in a woman's house to begin with. Yeah. He's already drawing up budgets and uh, he's in love. Even hey. to, anyway. Eight beers later. Yeah. So day three, now we are from 700k to, to 260k. Mm-hmm. Uh, nothing happens on day three. Day four, woman says she has paid for the proposed business premises and mm-hmm. was shopping for workers. She asks for a further 100k for licenses. Hey. For boiled meat. For boiled meat. Hey. <laughs> she also asks in Maragua for a father 50k for an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I was waiting for when the emergency, the woman uh, gets an emergency. I was waiting for yeah, that. I remember, send 50k urgently. Yeah, 50k. <laughs> <laughs> send 50k urgently. <laughs> <laughs> hey. uh, day five, this is now on Monday. Bro, this has been the best weekend mm-hmm. for this dude and the woman. Yeah. So on Monday, November 14th, Ikonya decides the many ATM withdrawals were tedious. Mm-hmm. He decides to withdraw in chunks at mm-hmm. once. Ikonya, the now we're on day five. Huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, so to 50K, the woman has paid for the uh, ah, okay. premises, okay. shopping for workers. Now uh-huh. she's uh, gotten permits. She and, has an emergency for 50K. And Mr. Ikonya, it's called Ikonya. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Ikonya has not seen anything. <laughs> Mr. Ikonya you haven't has not seen, seen the building, Mr. seen the paper. You haven't life, bro. You haven't seen your workers. Nothing. Thing. You just know I, I at the end of this I'm gonna be selling boiled meat. He's gonna be selling boil, boil, <laughs> boiled meat. First of all, why just boiled meat? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. uh, but I feel like I, I this would really slap now. You know, hey. boiled meat <laughs> and the soup. It's nice cut. Anyway, uh-huh. maybe boiled meat because um maybe a business has been involved in before. I don't okay, know. Okay. Okay. Uh, now we're on day six. This is a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Bro, this guy is living his best life. He, he doesn't need to do anything. He just need to send money like and things are getting done. Masa, so now, Ikonya, mm-hmm. let's see. Ikonya and the woman return to the bar. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> let's go celebrate a small win. Yeah. Woman hands back Ikonya's ATM. Oh my God, she did have the ATM card. And leaves a parcel at the bar containing Ikonya's clothes. Okay. By 10 p.m., her phone was off. So, day six, Ikonya has 3,100 with him. And no ma- so with uh, no mm. with with uh see the bar yeah with uh, a bill of thirty one hundred and no money he dash- dashes to the ATM his balance is eight shillings and seventy eight cents what what so Wednesday day seven mm. Ikonya ma Ikonya is he's mugged outside the same bar mugged is eight bob bro like he doesn't have any more so no <laughs> <laughs> so he, he heads to Marago police station to uh, to report having lost all his money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ikonya, you played yourself. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, really? Congratulations. You, you played, played yourself. Oh, shit. Hey. <laughs> I missed it. I mean, Apo Vlin Liskatu kissed a woman and took him to his house. <laughs> to her house. <laughs> Moral of the story don't go to women's houses. <laughs> and Conclusive. If you, and if you're paying for something, at least see. Now you're 50K at Arudisha. That's why her phone was off. Kwanza, bro, Kwanza, they, she drank. So they went back to the bar. Mm-hmm. Drank a bill of that 100. Just a phone. Disappeared. Her <laughs> phone was off. This guy goes to the ATM because he needs to pay 8 bob. Comes back. And then comes back the following day. They mug him. Also the same bar. Imagine. Of eight, 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 yeah. Eh. That this woman, is a, that's this an is... evil woman. And that's an unfortunate man. But <laughs> yeah. Like I'm not... <laughs> I'm not saying blame the victim. <laughs> nah, <laughs> but, but sometimes victim, you need to. Only, yeah. only victim of madness. <laughs> <laughs> but Kidnali would be For proud. Real. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is. Yeah. I saw this mm-hmm. that I thought was very interesting. Yeah. Called the floating campus yes. or semester at C. So the floating campus or semester at C is uh I need to get it. Okay, let me get a nice picture, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, it's this beautiful, like really, really beautiful, yet. That normally has around 500 students. Yeah. Actually, say 500 to 650. And they have an actual semester mm-hmm. that they move from different countries. Yeah. For a whole semester, like three and a half months. Okay. So I decided, let me read on it a little bit. So, 
So it's called, uh, if you check it online, it's called uh, Semester C. Um, for normally it's 106 days, 11 countries, 11 cities, three continents. Okay. So for next year, spring 2023, they're gonna be it embarks uh, embarks January 5th from Dubai, and it embarks on April 20th in Germany. It is India, Kenya is there, mm -hmm. Jordan, Suez Canal, Greece, Croatia, Spain, Mor Morocco, Portugal. Those are nice countries, nice places to visit. Bro, you, th you think you know everything. And, and, and this is just students, bro. And, but now they actually study. Like, they have classes. <laughs> they have there's classes. like lecture halls. There's like... <laughs> they study. Like, students, whatever. Go check it online. Okay. There's nice pictures of even students studying. Okay. But then the thing is... Um, so, uh, how I know about this is because that ship, for this year, mm -hmm. it docked in Mombasa. Okay. So, they're in Kenya now. Okay. So, it's a mix of being in water and being in these countries, being in actual countries. Ah, okay. So, it's, it's a blend of... So, you dock, of, you move around, you yeah. do things, and then you're back. Move around for like maybe five okay. days. Because it's 10 countries, 100 days. days, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Would you do that? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> this is the only this is the only way I'd go back to school. <laughs> what if so you wanna, how do you drop out from this school? <laughs> <laughs> but you, you've dropped out but in Gojat Fike Greece no. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like so not I feel like yeah. um, there's the students who join at different points uh, of there, okay. but but the whole point is to have the whole experience. Yeah. Also think about 650 students or 500 students for, yeah. from across the world yeah. and you're there for like three and a half months in different countries. Yeah. How sick is this? That's crazy. And you do any course. <laughs> I don't know about no, if you do any course. Let me check. Because now I'd imagine 500 students, you're not in the same class. Yeah, definitely not. So it's it's you check whatever course you're doing and then you see how many units you can apply there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this is crazy, uh, bro. So Mombasa, Kenya, then they just move around. But then I was looking at the cost. I wanted to guess, how much do you think this costs? Like 5K USD. Okay, you see. I'm thinking. What? 100 days at sea. <laughs> 106. How much does it cost? That's three and a half months. How much does so, it cost? So uh, someone did a breakdown of what it cost her mm -hmm. when she did um, when she did it back in 2014. Mm -hmm. And it cost her a total of um, almost 40,000 USD. So that's close to 5M now. What? <laughs> No, okay, just for inflation, 2014 is seven years ago. That's seven years ago. That's, that's, easy, what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Easily 60,000 dollars now. Easily 6M. 50, 60, yeah. Don't worry about it. Easily 6M. But also, what do you think that would get you, bro? Like, legit, think about Ishere. <laughs> In Ishere, I'm under... <laughs> I mean, I would... I would hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> and I thought 5K USD was a lot. <laughs> that's what I was like, yo. How is almost a 5K USD? Because I've seen... Okay, I was looking at cruise ships, this Maritz Nanini, yeah. recently. Yeah. And they start from like 2,000 USD, 3,000. So I thought maybe due to Nasoma. Okay, add, <laughs> add, add, add tuition, right? Mm -hmm. Add meals. Actually, you, I'm you, sure tuition is half of that, most more or less. Yeah, or even maybe less. Like extracurricular activities. Yeah, extracurricular. Like, then also... Uh -huh. Um, because now they're also getting into this country, so there's accommodation. Oh shit! Because yeah. you're not in there's water visa for fees. hours. Yeah, there's there's a lot that goes behind it, and you pay for everything. Damn. Yeah. So, bro, a good if you have a good six seven mic, you Me, can do the hey, program. Hey, what if you get a sus? In it and go soup. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like these are those like. You'd be like those guys who are like, I'm I'm in this class, but only for this one unit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I pay 40k USD, I'm not failing. <laughs> Even if I don't do the test. But, but can you imagine what the experience uh, feels like? Like sometimes you wake up to dolphins outside outside your, your room. Sometimes. When you go on breaks, bro, you never miss the sunset. You never yeah. miss the sunrise. It's sick, bro. You go do it. Have fun. <laughs> Me, there's no way in a panda ship 100 days. <laughs> two hours is enough. I'd be so much sick. Yeah. I'd two be hours, so sick. Two hours is enough. <laughs> two hours. Just knowing that at you to kokat kati amaj. And I can't see shit 360 <laughs> degrees. Aye. All this is water. Aye. I love you. Know. <laughs> captain, I'm an Italian. It's a captain. <laughs> pilot. <laughs> Not a pilot. I said, we're expecting a storm tomorrow. I'm not in Talala. Basically, I'm not sleeping in anything that needs me to put a seatbelt on. <laughs> Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Waking up in the morning. Beautiful sunrise, right? Mm -hmm. But all you can see is water all around. Yeah. Go to class. Come for break. <laughs> all you can see is water all around. Evening, sunset, all you can see is water all Same. around. No land, nothing, bro. The most you can see is a dolphin jump, a whale, whatever. Yeah. But you, you don't see anything. 
You could even go for days without seeing another ship. Can never be me. <laughs> you already the two hours I do come at the end Lifi. They scare me to death. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, bro, definitely. I would That's definitely, crazy. definitely do this. I thought this yeah. was so dope. That's dope. And you know, you think, you think, you think you know things. You know life. But I also, I also, the, the name is fantastic. So I'm gonna start saying. Yeah, I love it. It's Whoever nice. did the copy. And I just knew it was a Dubai thing. <laughs> Dubai and Dominic place. Ah, but not just the Middle no, East. No, they move. They move around, but yeah, and even where is it based? And also, uh-huh. no, it's based in the States. This okay. is a US program. Oh, okay. So Nivenya, now for for spring next year, mm-hmm. they begin in Dubai, right? Let okay. me pull like uh maybe say fall next year. Yeah. Let's see where they begin. So for fall, they begin in Amsterdam. Okay. Then I uh, finish in Tokyo, Japan. This is the one I've That actually sounds like a fun one. I know. Because these are two cities I want to really visit. Bro, it's Malaysia here. There's mm-hmm. Spain. There's Greece. There's South Korea. South Korea. Yeah, fall well. is... But also... Eh. But also, bro, I think you'd need to check. I don't think... Okay, you'd have fun, but you're going to get a lot of winter. Spring is the best oh. time. Because of summers and whatnot. Because also, can, can, you imagine, can you imagine winter in, in, in mid, like in deep seas? Titanic all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Grab the mic. I like how the sound guy. Ananza to go. Interested. Ah, Ananza to go. Nana mic. Yeah, you see, they have business. Of course. Nelly Ombia Bikom. Communication, journalism, and media studies, political science, literatures and languages, uh, environment and health. Performing and visual arts, psychology mm. and human development, religion and philosophy, society and culture, and last tourism and hospitality. Okay. Bro, that, so that sounds like a perfect semester. Yeah. It feels like a little bit of everything I want to know in life, yeah. but not filling me up with. But those are bullshit. all different courses. I'm a, someone does a bit of everything. Okay, you can do I'd like everything. to know how it's structured. Yeah. Maybe not. They but... haven't put anything technical. Me, I want medicine. <laughs> come on, let's come. <laughs> Yo. Nah, nigga. You, uh-huh. You couldn't... Oh, yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. we do Twitter check. Yes, please. <laughs> You're learning so, funny. <laughs> so, uh, uh, do you have another one? Amani, no, no, no. Okay. The, so, at the, one I saw. the Dhaka Forum posted, quality second-hand coffins for sale <laughs> with a phone number, contact. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> it's not uh, even one response because mm-hmm. it's quality second-hand coffins. <laughs> so, someone asked... Second-hand ones. I'm wondering what happened to the first owners. Or maybe they died. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> then someone else you is know. like, yeah. where, where did you get these coffins? <laughs> then someone else just said, I'm so dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have several questions, but then I understand yeah. like second-hand coffins are a business. They're not like outward-facing, but <laughs> yeah. it's yeah, the UK based. <laughs> At the bay, UK used. No, they don't have XUK. <laughs> I think we should call that number. I wish we could call that number. Yeah. Is it like a number, number for real? Aman is always gonna seven digits. No, it's a number. Okay. So someone else said, mm-hmm. "I bet you will tell us. Share widely. My next client could be in your chair in the timeline." Is this the one you had? You have a, you had no, another no, no. one. I'm trying. To, I didn't. I forgot to like the tweets. Oh, okay. But yeah. it's not shared in the group. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just. The, mm. But the memes, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> but also, even someone who was the first comment was someone who was genuine. Like, wait, mm. what do you mean by second hand? I love our quality. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming if you're in that biashara, you already know who's getting the quad, so that you see the coffin beforehand. Because <laughs> yeah. there's a guy who used to do that. Did you do you know this guy who's a pastor? Mm. Funniest TV interview I've ever seen in Kenya. <laughs> my life. He's Kenyan. Yeah. yeah. He used to say, Walikonga, they used to be coffin thieves. Mm. So you, you attend the mashakaya, you even donate money. Like you look like part of the family. So that even on the day of the funeral, mm. when people ask, hey, how did you know Mr. X? I mean, hey, we used to school together. And then immediately they've been required. So they used to get rich clients, mm. like families with money. So your coffin is nice. Coffins are expensive, apparently. Yeah, your coffins are expensive. Yeah, and then if you've been required with like your nice watches, your nini. Mm. Yeah, they come in the evening, they whoosh, they leave you there, but they take the coffin. Yeah, because it's money. Yeah, so the the funniest... But then that means they have to come, they, they can't wait for too long because... Yeah, so it, a day or two. Yeah. And whatnot. yeah. So I'll cost them a day or two is the best. And then they were going, there's an Indian guy apparently in Parklands who used to buy them back. And I think they get cleaned up and they go back to the shop. 
Fuck our capitalism, bro. Yeah. Make money in whichever way. The funniest bit is how he says he ended. He prayed to God because they got cornered. One day, the guy who was supposed to come get them, Usiku, Aku come. So now they're up with, uh, outside Langata with a coffin. So This would happen in Langata? Yeah. So what they did was they got... Uh, there's, there's a, a nation media group one that was going around. Gazette is Newspapers, yeah, yeah, really late, yeah. Yeah, so it was the only car on the road, so they, they hijacked it. They threw out all the newspapers, they put the coffin at the back. Guys sat at the front, him, he sat at the back. So as they are going to town, of course, NMG has been told, hey, one of your vans, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Cops are on it. So they get to town, cops sprayed the car brr, with bullets, killing everyone at the front. So this guy, he decided for him to be saved, he gets into the coffin. So he gets into the coffin and then he had some cotton wool. He put it on his nostrils and mouth. And then he says, Nika dedi ile serious. At now the cop who came behind aka confirm akasema, ah, kuna mwili hapa hivi. So they were calling the mortuary to come and collect the body. But as they were carrying it out, he just decided to stand up and run. <laughs> so the funniest bit was the cops dropped their guns and ran away. Kanza you should hear how he spoke to it at you. Police ya miona vitu migi, lakini ya jia yona maiti kitoka bio. <laughs> so now he's a pastor. Yeah. And he goes around telling his stories of crime and stuff. Yeah. Bro, that is sick. Yeah. That is sick. Like legit. And he said... And this was their business. That was their business. And they used to make good money. Like, they used to make like a hundred years. So every... The more you... The more you... <laughs> the more, I don't know. The more you dig... The more, the more they do. The yeah. bodies just take them back to the... They just put them back in the hole. And cover it up. Next I also time. had... That once the coffin is closed, you can't open it. Is that true? Who's died here before? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's true. See, coffins are open. That nini open whatever is caskets. There is open caskets. You know? Yeah. No, but I'm like okay, true. Because but there's normally like a glass if you notice with most yeah. people. You see through the glass. They never see. Like you can't. I never view like, bodies. Yeah, you can. The people who open open the whole casket. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what I had. I don't know. Damn. But anyway, the last one someone responded and said, "Anyone who has used it before." Please confirm if it's genuine for other serious buyers. <laughs> no, the responses are crazy. Ah, <laughs> but I'm a... Wona dani watu normally Kenya tumebaki wangapi? But I'm a... <laughs> not, to... not to know crazy, bro. But, I mean, I see why this could be a business. Yeah. Because these are not really coffins that uh, people are buried in. These are probably coffins that were used for hire and uh -huh. whatnot. Because Nikita Kering's new video, uh -huh. she was in a coffin and asked... I, I remember what? asking her. Uh, oh. I, I remember... No, she, she was. You've seen the video, right? I remember asking her, okay, so this coffin, was uh -huh. it a real coffin? Is it the thing? Because they, they banned the coffin towards the end. Yeah. And they hired the coffin. Calligraph has been in a coffin. Yeah, Calligraph has come on stage in a coffin. <laughs> you know, exactly. That thing can, frightened the fuck out of me. <laughs> Why? And because it was crazy, like, okay. <laughs> and, the and then the funniest bit, you know, like the, the, the guys who are doing the... Uh, that, that show, I can't remember what brand it was. Mm. But when he was coming on stage, me, I was up at the front. Mm. I used to work at the company that organized the events. That gig, bro. Yeah. Where was that gig? I can't remember. I remember the gig where Calligraph comes comes yeah. on in a coffin. So they had to the the bouncers uh, refused to touch it. <laughs> like it was coming backstage and everything, yeah. and then at the guys who were backstage because they needed a couple of people to carry it to carry him to stay. He's not a light guy. Yeah, a calligraphy. Yeah, guy. but guys at the backstage were like, "Zee, <laughs> I'm not part of this nonsense." So the bouncers who could lead, I think they had to be given extra cash. Yeah, he just came on stage. Calligraph is a performer. Bro, I remember that show. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember which show that was. Was it Jameson something? No, I've never been to any of the Jamesons. It's crazy. Crazy for real? No, I've been. None of them. Okay. No, we we had no. You didn't come for the uh -huh. this other one, the the Which latest one, one. The one that had DJs. Oh, I think Kori, I missed that one. Musakis, Nini. Yeah, that one I missed. That is the first Jimmy song I've missed. Been to. The other, I've never been to any of the other ones. Crazy. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's up, music? <laughs> so Daily Loud posted uh -huh. that that uh, McMill says he made eleven million in ten years off his music. Okay. This is an SD for sure. Then when, um, when he said off his music, he means including touring or just the music? Because those are some low numbers. For 10 for years. For Mill, yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, there's a time Mick... Mick has been an arena artist, for sure. Mm. Deaf. Deaf. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's no way... Okay. I'd like to know the details, but then I'd assume this is outside touring. You can't okay, add, yeah. no if you add touring, bro. If you add touring, how much, how much did Mick make from his breakout album? When they were when the whole Maybach thing was a serious yeah. thing, you know, there's no way Mick, nah. Okay, I'd, I'd say touring aside. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So maybe this is from just sales. Royalties and stuff. Sales, yeah. uh, royalties. Um, maybe you'd add much. Okay. You know, like legit from the music. The album is uh, the album is coming out. Uh, single is out. Have a big single. Mm-hmm. And Mika's had like mega songs. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> Gravity on Twitter uh-huh. posted, shared that, and said, and I mean she threw shade at Banaboy. She mm-hmm. was like some Nigerian artist claims he made a hundred million this year alone, and they're in the same label. Because you know, Mick is on Possibly, Atlantic and Banaboy yeah. is on Atlantic. Possibly. I mean, I think Banaboy has been selling 70,000, 60,000. Um, what do you call it? Arenas. Uh, yeah. Yeah, globally. Places, yeah. 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 All the Banaboy is headlining every single every show he's single playing. Thing. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's not at Cat and Raising. It's quite anymore, possible to make that kind, kind of tunes. Um, Actually, I'm going to you one million. <laughs> <laughs> last, last, you're on two million. <laughs> <laughs> it's plenty. It's hey, done. But... <laughs> it's over. Oh. Um, so, th- curious, right? Mm-hmm. I seen the conversation online, man, and I hope, I hope, because this would make me so sad mm-hmm. if in two, three years from now, mm-hmm. Banner Boy comes out and says the label finessed him. Oh shit! Because Banner is signed to Atlantic, right? Mm-hmm. Mega, okay, mega labels focus on the hottest artist. Yeah. Say the hottest artist. Actually, the hottest artist could run, could sustain the label, and then now they have money to try Projects. gamble. You know, Spend get 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 me. four or five hit singles in a year. That is enough for a big label. Mm. So when you're in a, in a label like Atlantic that has the McMills, uh, has Banner, okay, Banner Boy is hot now. So Banner mm. Boy is definitely making money. Yeah. But also the label is making a hundred times more money for me. Yep. So my biggest problem would be Banner coming out. You made money for sure. Yeah. The label probably made you the biggest African artist, right? Yep. Currently, Banner yeah. is the biggest. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Yeah. Especially this year. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, shout out to Wiz, David, and everyone else. But Banner is the hottest African artist right now, yeah. right? So for Banner, if Banner comes out two years from now and says he was finessed by the label, this will make that so be sad. So Because I've seen, how many, you've not seen online guys are like, um, a lot of the guys, especially within, I think within the music scene in Nigeria, mm-hmm. feel like he got a slave deal. You know, the usual, oh, real, yeah. the usual you sell your soul for fame and riches. Yeah. I don't think that's true though. You it's think true. that's true? I mean, selling... Okay. It doesn't mean it, there's an office <laughs> where the devil sits and execs can go and be like... And, and where so, is his know, advocate? No, I've heard what, about what him a lot. What it basically means yeah. is you probably signed like a 360 deal. Uh, okay. So the label... Because the label is making so much from you, if you're hot, the label would put you everywhere. Mm-hmm. So you're everywhere. You are definitely making money. Yeah. But then if you look at how much the label made off you, it's yeah. a slave deal. That's what oh, it means. Okay. Okay. It's, it not, it's not literally there's a devil hey. somewhere, you know, with, with, his with two red horns <laughs> on the side <laughs> with advocates. Yeah, so most people say he signed the slave deal. Okay. Which could be true. I don't see it's not How perfect. long has he been there? Atlantic. Yeah. Um, Is it like after his success or before? No. Definitely. You can clearly tell when Banaboy joins Atlantic. I, mm-hmm. I'm sure we can even check, but I'm sure it's when mm-hmm. African Giant has to be the first project that Banner dropped. Ah, okay. With, at and least let me see. Googled something normal when on did... my laptop. <laughs> you? You've Googled <laughs> something normal on my laptop. <laughs> sign, sign with Atlantic. Let's see. I like talking music. Atlantic Records. African Giant. 2017. Yeah. That's the time for African Giant. I feel like this is before. Because, mm. oh my God, he's also signed to Wana Brother, Wana Music. Whew. How many, uh, how, when, when you get signed to a record label, can you mm. sign to another one? Am I you sell off some of your rights? So, do you know the funny thing? Uh-huh. All these record labels, I want by like two, three record labels. All of them are under. <laughs> Wana Juice. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. So, it's possible, yeah, uh, it's possible Atlantic uh, is owned by Wana Music Group. Okay. Let me see. You want to say something? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Who on? Is it some ri- rich white old people yeah, yeah. who own it? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Let's see. Ah yeah, there mm. you go. Mm. Owned by Wana Music Group. So who can transfer your people nearly? You'd be surprised. Even Sony is owned by someone. <laughs> Let me tell you who owns. Literally two, three record labels in the whole world own oh, all yeah, these yeah, other yeah. record labels. Okay. So okay. when you get big enough, they buy you out. Um. Like let's say oh as an nini as an if you start your own label you get big enough they mm-hmm. buy you out yeah. possible okay possible so let's like see could be a shara uh There's yeah three main seats Sony Warner and uh, Universal Universal is owned by is no let's see who owns Universal I think Universal is owned by is also a subsidiary Universal 
Because I, I was gonna, I was gonna put, I was gonna add um, Columbia Records there. Columbia is under Sony. Is under Sony. Yeah. So Universal is owned by. Okay, yeah, UMG is one of the biggest for sure. Mm. Universal owns. Okay, Interscope is owned by Universal. Universal Pictures. Okay, it's a bunch of them. Anyway, okay. go read on it. Most it's literally all. It's like three labels that own everything else. 2017 is when Banner signed to Atlantic. When did um, Nini drop African Giant? Let's 2018. Check. African Giant is the one that had Saudi Soul on it. Yes. 2019. 2019. I think. Drops July 2019. Yeah. Uh, then he signed in 2017. Mm. So, but it's the first album. Okay, no. So that 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 means outside was dropped by Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Okay. The EP. But then you can you can tell when Bana, you can tell when the shift happens. The last two projects have been super, super solid. And very global yeah, as well. Yeah. They've sounded sonically, they've sounded different. Yeah. Uh, very strategic. They've, even the features have yeah. been super strategic. Even the PR around it. Even the PR around it. So yeah. you can tell there's there's a big machine there's behind a team Banner behind Boy. It. You know, there's sense. no way. I don't think I don't think Banner Boy is at that stage in life where now he needs to write lyrics. Have you seen his schedule? I haven't. I'd imagine. How does it look like? Is it like a crazy one? I mean, it's easy. It's super crazy. Like there's no way. That's why he has to fly private because you're mm. not gonna make all those venues. Yeah. So. I think Banner is at that level, mm -hmm. that God level, where he's such a big asset. He's making the label so much money that they 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 live and invest in the next four albums. Mm. In the sense that all he needs is he has all the best writers he can get. Mm -hmm. He has the best producers he can get. He has everything he needs. All yeah. he needs to do is just have Show access to recording, whether yeah. in the plane or when. Because also he signed with a label that is so big, they literally have so, access to studios like globally. Yeah, you know what I mean. So if Banner needs to record a song, he'll do it from wherever. Because Atlantic yeah. have they have the muscle. Wanna music group have the muscle. Yeah. If he's in Kenya for a gig and he needs to record, they'll they'll book Snowball. So they'll send yeah, him to the, the best studio in Nairobi, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Snowball. Yeah. Our numbers yeah. are up <laughs> Yeah. So I don't think Banner it now has to be thinking about yeah. oh the next hit. I mean, naturally hits come. You can tell naturally they come. Yeah. But most of it is done for him. He's I'm at that also, level. I'm He's a getting, very sweet spot. I'm getting into songwriting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah! I saw what you sent Charisma. I saw what you sent Charisma. I'll develop it yeah. into a full song now. I'm going to like it. I Locus, think you should yeah. really do it, bro. I'm, I'm going to do it. Okay. Nikia okay. Chaku stress you. Oh, my God. How long mm -hmm. have you been rolling? Nikia. We've done an hour. Yeah. It's still in the 630. Sure. Let's go. Okay, let's, let's go through quickly then. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so there's a new Netflix series that drops mm. in January. Yo, called Kaleidoscope. First of all, that's a dope name. Now, is it Kaleidos the one you watch it in any order? You can watch you in the same. You can watch in any order, and that will affect how you view the story. So that means what? all of us here yeah. could watch that series, and all of us will come out with something different. Hey, that's fire. I me, can't wait. Uh, here's the here's what I'm gonna do. Me, I'm gonna write. There are eight episodes. It's eight episodes. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna write number one to eight in a bowl, and then I just shake it up and. That's exactly what yeah. I want to do. Like, I want to watch it in whichever order that mm. nature allows me to watch it in. But then, then let's, then we'll come analyze and see if you watch the same <laughs> If you have thing. the same story. <laughs> yeah. Isn't, the, the only series I've seen that has come this close is Black Mirror, right? Mm. Uh, With Bandersnatch. But, but also, Black Mirror is because it's sort of different stories. Yeah. So, one's in episode two, four, it's just different yeah. stories. It's like this many small connected. movies. Uh, yeah, this one is it's all connected, connected and you can watch it in whichever order you want. Damn. But, You'll come out. Like no, you'll view the that's, story. That's how you sell a show. Because I can imagine you walk into Netflix and say, I have the grandest idea for the next um what what are they called? Short releases. No, Netflix original. It's a it's a uh, Netflix for original. For the next Netflix original. Oh, or a mini Yeah, a mini, a mi what mini is it series. Called? A mini series. Because eight episodes is a mini series. Yeah. And, and it's then, just eight episodes. And then they're like at a swing a story. It's eight <laughs> episodes, and you can watch it in whatever way. Yes. They'll be like, <laughs> and after they read the script, they're like. Okay. Because <laughs> if, if that's the case, they yeah. must have read the script wrong. There's no way you're telling me that I can watch in whichever order and, and then I'll they... come out with something and I in one, two, three, four, the sequence, you know. And I, yeah. I, I, was, I, was, um, I just watched something briefly before I got on. Mm -hmm. and the guy was explaining um, that the whole idea is uh, when there were Inception, during Inception, yeah. it was more of, we are so conditioned our minds work in a very logical uh, manner. Yeah. So for them, it's more of, you also know you want to watch episode Ziki Fortana normally because you want the story to build and you want to uh, understand how the story goes. So yeah. they wanted to make something that doesn't follow the logical way of thinking. Because even, even if you follow episode one mm -hmm. all through to eight, right? The thing is, you can, 
your mind starts to preempt things. Yeah. You know, when something happens, you start thinking or guessing <laughs> of what's going to happen now. Yeah. So that they're like, now, for this series, you have to wait to see the end. You know who has the hardest job in that team? The guy who's going to make the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get? Tambia <laughs> to Nini. Let me just put some bust scenes. Atami Sijui. Just like a mashup. <laughs> it's like I can some DJ. Yeah. It's, it's a story about the uh, thieves. It's a heist. It's a heist. They want to pull they're off calling the... It the, uh, the, big, the largest heist in the world. Mm -hmm. And also what they're saying is, is that it's something that could potentially happen. Because... Yeah. Okay. Because the inspiration is, uh, what, which hurricane is this? There's a hurricane in the States mm -hmm. that happened and 50 billion disappeared. What? And they said it disappeared because of the hurricane. So it's based what? on that. Yeah. How did it disappear? I'm going to watch <laughs> I'd and like, see. I'd like to hear. <laughs> I don't think the story is 100% the, the hurricane. Yeah. Uh, That's something interesting. That's something I'm going to go read. Read up on. Yeah, I'm going to go, go read on it. Kaleidoscope. It's such a beautiful name, man. This... It's one of the first festivals in Otam that is Netflix. Damn. Let me tell you just now. Um, da -da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Oh, it was seven billion dollars. What? Yeah, and that this is Hurricane. Um, I'm gonna Google Hurricane. Just wanna Google Hurricane. Ah, it was Hurricane Sandy mm -hmm. in 2012. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, excited to check it out. Now, um, hmm. Oh, yeah, bro. So, I thought when I saw the notice mm -hmm. for clubs need to be shut down because we've spoken mm -hmm. on this before. I thought clubs had till January to get the shit together. Yeah. Then I saw people, guys were getting raided last night. Yeah, yeah Sakaja Sakaja was like, the let's call. Yo. So, not doing happy December. But, I, but okay, <laughs> but, I, budget. but I felt some type of way mm -hmm. the way it was done. I agree with the premise that, um, of course, we've spoken about this before. Yeah. One, how are the permits given and yeah. all those things, right? But then because they're already here, I feel like what, what they should have done is, one, they should have just let guys know which are residential areas in Nairobi and which are not. Yeah. So, that, it, uh -huh. so that it's, it's easier. Even as it's easier for people to be like, okay, uh, here I need to live, here I don't need to live. Because mm. it's CBD is not it, the only place that yeah, is it's not residential. You and know? then I'm trying to think, does anyone here feel like Sakaja's um, government is so theatrical and performative? Like they don't get to the actual problem, they just do things for PR. I think so. Like okay, even these rates, are they going to continue, are they going to be sustained? Because if the problem was the guy giving the permits, mm. why are you attacking the club owners first? And you can just go throughout the chain and see who didn't do his job. So, mm -hmm. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I feel like even, and it's more of just this government so far. Yeah. So, I don't know if it's still settling in. I still want to give a benefit of the, of the yeah. doubt. I don't know if it's settling in, but it just feels like there's a, a lot of PR involved. So, yeah. one, there's no account accountability for guys who who have given out these permits, yeah. like you're saying. Then secondly, it's not, why, like, why don't you give guys time? Because these are actual businesses. Yeah. You know, you get to the reality. These are businesses, people employed, there's mm -hmm. all that. So, Whoever says, do you know which area you can, aside CBD, do you know which area you can set a club and which you can't? Maybe CBD, West. Just and that. Westlands. And even Westlands is a part of Westlands. Yeah, part of not Westlands. Not the sides of Westlands, which the are commercial residential. Side, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I, if, I, if I opened a club at Lovington Green Mall, mm -hmm. well, is that residential? Because there's apartments right behind. Yeah. I don't that's know, man. Like go go for to... the guy who did the licensing. I feel like that's the... That's the... Go for the guy and also this for these clubs. Give yeah. them... Give them even till end of December. Be like, Leave you have it. till end of December to they either... make their final money. Yeah. We utilize our networking budget. And, all, and also, <laughs> even for now, guys who are legit employed, mm -hmm. uh, you have, you know, you have till December. So those need, like, now Othair Road, how is it? I'm curious. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But it's my industry. Okay. I'll, I'll make calls. I'll tell you. I'll make calls. <laughs> I'll, call, I'll call the Damn. guys and see what's going on. Yeah. Ah, Elsa. Elsa Majimbo. Bro, there's no way Elsa was going to buy another car. What do you mean? It had to be a Tesla. Elsa, it's right there. Yes. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> this is my this is my this is my Tesla. My name is Elsa. Hey. Elsa. <laughs> my name is Elsa, and this is my Tesla. Tesla. Ah shit! Yeah, I mean, I change my name to Elsa. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna call. Yeah, call yourself Elsa. Okay. It works. Okay. Not okay. too far. She bought a Tesla, man. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Yeah. Elsa, Leander, come here. Come on, cause single nita foota. Nani Elsa? Elsa. Did you could drive electric cars? Do you? Did you? Uh huh. Ooh. <laughs> I like driving electric cars. Bro, mm -hmm. did you see Shin City in Eldorets? That was Have crazy. Have you seen those videos? That was crazy. Aside, okay, one selling out. 
Then Nash then doing Klepto, what Nash does. Yeah. Then brought out Klepto. Yo. He saw his, his caption today. Was it today or Jana? Mm. I'll say, before iPhones, before podcasts, before... He just touched a bunch of new things. Mm. And then he said there was kleptomaniacs. And then he put out the video. I feel like it was so poetic. So does it does it mean that now Colombe backslide? I don't know, man. <laughs> like being a panda, yes. I can't go on tight. But maybe they sang the songs and you see raunchy. But most of the lyrics were raunchy. Kunyanga na kina mai. Hey. Oh uh, man, when is the next Shin City in Nairobi? Because I think mm. they're touring. So they're doing a, yeah, they'll do a whole tour. Maybe Mombasa. I think next. they'll have to close out with a Nairobi or a Mombasa. Definitely. Yeah. So if you want to see him to tend a Malodwa, yeah. Malodwa sounds Nakuru, like a plan. Nakuru sounds Nakuru, doable. Nakuru, yeah, yeah. Even LD together. Yo. Tumenini. Uh, tumenini. Tume, tume have a spend our networking expenses. Hey, me when they say I think ni mechi hata advance. I don't mean ni mechi. Networking. But at least the biggest networking event here end of year me cancel you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Kilifi. Kilifi, yeah. It's not been cancelled. No, no, no. Not for us. Oh, for us. Yeah, because things yeah. came up. Yeah, I'm there on Thursday. Houses got expensive. Yeah. Nini, nini. So, um, so the company I work for is still going to be a partner. Mm -hmm. So, I'm there. I think I'm, I'm, I'm there on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Just to close nitty gritties on ground. But yeah. then I won't be there. We're talking about the whole thing. We're talking about the whole thing. But Man, you know, and the then this is, going is... To be, this is going to be the second one I've missed ever since the beginning. Yeah. I was in Kilifi cool. this weekend. Yeah. Malindi, but we went through Kilifi. Yeah. They're really chopping down those baobabs, man. <laughs> And oh. uprooting them. Like you can tell. We can, saw them. We saw like... Kilifi has the, the eh. biggest and the oldest. The whole yeah. long, the, I've never seen... Okay. And maybe I even saw a video some, some of, of someone kind of. like they have big ass machinery that just uproots it, all of it. I don't know where they're being exported to. But whatever it is, wherever it is, I think they're going to replant them there. I don't know how I feel about it. Why would we You can't carry them? a hundred year old tree and go replant it and tell people this is a hundred year old tree. What's an But also, why would our government sell? Why would our government agree? Our government sells everything. Not as it to use us kumoji. If we can sell a pot. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh my goodness. That's great. But it was really because I'd seen it online and then now I was there and then I could see it. And I'm like, shit. And and ah, anyway, you're studying <sighs> in Jamisha too. Two last ones. Damn. Hmm. So the world's longest serving president. <laughs> Teodoro, Teodoro, Teodoro Obiang of Victoria Guinea mm -hmm. has been re-elected for his sixth term. He's eight years old. Eighty. Yeah, has been in power for 43 years. Half his life. And each term is seven years. Seven years. So he's going to go for another seven years, 87. Damn. And he just appointed his son to be the vice president. Let me ask, is it that other African countries? Because now you see, I'm always in Maybe in the more I, era. I feel like I read headlines about other countries. I'm like, eh, I'm not bad. I'm Kenya. The last person who could find this was Moi. Yeah. And it's, yeah, since Moi, it's... Is it that other democracies are that fact? Yeah. But do you remember when you're talking about, mm. I think we should start traveling to some of these random African countries. Yeah. Random in the sense that it's those countries, like Equatorial Guinea. Mm -hmm. I've legit as a person not had anything that would make me want to go, you yeah. know? Like, I want to go to Cape Town just to yeah. see. You want to go to Rwanda? I want to go to Rwanda, you know, go, to yeah. these things. So I think we need, we really need to do this trip. When the money comes in, easy, Victoria, Guinea, you know, randomly to Namibia. Kunda tuko all is amnesia. Small, small Kampala here. I can't even talk to a cab driver about the president. He keeps changing the topic. Yeah. Then he tells me, I don't know if you're one of them. I'm like, one of who? Yeah, the government, could, yeah, they send yeah, intelligence could, could everywhere. disappear. Bro. Even Tanzania, you you can't uh, publicly criticize the president. I can go tweet. Kwanza you know, people our, always during our last presidency. <laughs> 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 oh, he's back on Twitter. He's, he's, now, he's now back. He's back on Twitter now. Ah, nice. I'm going to follow him. But a, but a different account. I think okay. your account really quite deleted, deactivated. I can say my anything. Yeah. He's back as fourth president KE. I'll go, I'll go follow him. <laughs> uh, we can't be running out of memes. Because who is going to be tired? When are you going to work? Uh, anyway, we... Has it been three months? Since the election, yeah. Bro, yeah. September, October, November. Yeah. Kuomba, kuomba. Okay. Now, you're saying you got a revelation from God. Ugh. Even me want to get a revelation from God. <laughs> so, Bal... <laughs> uh -huh. Do you want to do Balenciaga? Okay, let's uh, do Kenya, Kenya Sevens. Kenya Sevens. One, Kenya Sevens have an M-Changa, bro. Because mm -hmm. they need money to go represent the country in Dubai and Cape Town. So they have an M-Changa up. As per today, it had reached 300k. What? They, yeah, they don't have money. But then I, I realized people online 
probably don't really understand how this thing works because mm-hmm. everyone was complaining about the Ministry of Sports. I'm yeah. like, yeah, okay, the Ministry of Sports has a role to play, but mm-hmm. the biggest problem here is Kenya Rugby Union. Yeah. Not even the Ministry of Sports. The, the, they're supposed to be the facilitators. Ministry of... The yeah. overseers of whatever, yeah. anything rugby. Yeah. Okay. So the Ministry of Sports, definitely. I mean, the Ministry of... It's like when the government bails out Kenya Airways. Mm-hmm. You know, and then we forgot about K. Is it K? Who manages Kenya Airways? Kenya Airport Authority, yeah. Yeah. So then, guys are like, oh, the, why? no, now people get that. Because yeah. guys are always complaining, why are you always bailing these guys out? Yeah. But the mismanagement is happening at KAA. That's yeah. where the problem is, you know. And I feel like, like that's what I was saying even with the Sakaja story, you can always narrow down to a team or a person. Mm. Like even with this Kenya Rugby, you'll go to Kenya Rugby Union, you'll meet the board of directors at Asema, oh, Aya, let's audit these guys. Where did the money go? Mm. Where is the money supposed? You'll, you'll narrow down to a Chaxi or a Moas or Chaxi's team. Yes. And those are the people who are supposed to be arrested. To be held and held, yeah, accountable. held accountable. Exactly. So this is sad mm-hmm. to see, man. Like, I, like we're proud of Damn. our team, bro. But then you can even tell the performance has just been declining. And we had... Mm. Bro, this case... Is you know, rugby was one of... Is know, still man. maybe one of our... It probably is, but then uh-huh. they've not been paid for over three months. How do you expect they survive? Now they have an yeah. Mchanga to go to represent the country, bro. Yeah. You know how sick this is? And we sent 500... Was it 378 people? To go what, to, to Egypt. World Cup? No, to yeah. the delegation that was here for climate change. Oh, well, we had money week. to do that, yeah. yeah. But then and maybe, a lot yeah, of the people things, who are yeah. like guys attached to gubernatorial offices... But some someone had the full list and they were saying how they had um, the surnames are the same. So you could tell it's a bunch. It's not a kind of delegation. Lastly, mm-hmm. so Balenciaga, man. Can you, can, you know, can I say this? Mm-hmm. So anyway, what Balenciaga did is, I think it was a campaign to just uh, show a range of mm-hmm. the things they make. Yeah. But then in that campaign, uh, yeah. but in that campaign, they had kids Holding. and they had things like you know so you know soft soft porn stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The Denise, I saw one of the photos was very unfortunate. It was a kid holding a bear that was put into BDSM, like belts and stuff. Yeah. Gag mouth and everything. Yeah. I don't understand it. I think that's not even creative, that's <laughs> creepy. Then one of so because also the other the other one that guys were complaining about, mm-hmm. which was recent, was the collab between Balenciaga and Adidas. Yeah. Right. And in these pictures. There's a document on the table that guys zoomed in, yeah. and it's a court document regarding uh, child, child, child pornography. pornography. Yeah, and this is the collab between Balenciaga and Adidas. How are you even putting that as a creative direction? How do you even think that let's do this? Let's set it up like that. I don't know, but also, how do you be comfortable taking pictures? Even the photographer, how are you comfortable uh-huh. as a photographer who's got on a brief, regardless of how big the brand is? Yeah, when you show up on set, bro, there's a kid lying on the couch, and then there's just toys up. Like, how do you even take those pictures? Mm. Like and you don't even, even see there's a problem. Even before you show up on set, so you go, you look at the production brief, the mood board, the idea, the nini. Yeah. You do all these things. I'm like, this is a bit. So it's not shocking. It's very calculated that that particular. Hey. Bro, there's that picture of that kid lying on the couch, and then there's toys there. I'm like, what the fuck even is going on? Even if edited on after, that's crazy. Yeah, even published, like it goes through everyone who approved everything. No one. Yeah. So there's a problem. You know, let's see. Sometimes, like even movies, they take it a bit too far. Even. There's a movie I was seeing, I love food. There are some kids who discovered that it's just sex toys and started chapanang with them like in a kiddie way, not knowing what they are. Yeah. But I'm like, even whoever is writing that scene and whoever is directing it and whoever is involved, yeah. you guys did like five takes. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like to understand mm. how... And, and thought this was yeah. normal. It's crazy. Anyway. Yeah, before we end the show, I'd like to dedicate this show to our biggest fan. And okay. to uh, just Jim Ray, please, you made it to episode 41. Please keep watching. Truck mm. Pendasana. Over 26. <laughs> this is the Fag of This is the Crunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Fag of Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs>